What's up, dogs? And welcome to two, no, three short horror games. The first two is developed by Consistency 3D. They make PSX horror games, though not too serious, but supposedly the second episode, yes, we're gonna go back to back on these one-way tickets. It's gonna be a bit more serious than this first episode. That said, we're going to be working in restaurants, fast food joints. So hopefully, it's as entertaining as it sounds. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here I am, in the middle of a night. Ooh, can I hold more than one? No, I'm a loser. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what is this place called. I'm assuming it's like Cluckies or something because the title screen said Cluck. So welcome to Cluckies. This is not a trash can! Oh my god. Why am I running inside? Of course the trash can's outside. I'm a doofus. My god. By the way, this was made for the three minute horror jam. So don't expect it to be so very long. Although you guys already know based on the time stamp. Ah! Ah! This place must get clean. By the way, I love, love the music. It reminds me so much of whatchamacallit? Stranger Things right now. Oh here it is, Chubby's Chickens. Hello world, welcome to Chubby's Chicken. Ah, oh, pull the register drawers to the safe. <laughs> I read a thing that said, if you do everything on time, then you'll get the secret ending. That's why I'm like, sort of frantic about everything. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. But now I'm also like thinking, what if I just chill X, take my time, and then in the second one, speed run it. So I think I'll do that. Oh, wow. I like how I just automatically grab it. I don't even need to click a thing. He's just like, yoink. <laughs> All right, one more to go. Oh, what the? Uh, hello there. What are you doing? Yeah, you better run. I have a handful of cash. And if that's not terrifying, then I don't know what is. <laughs> uh, terrible idea, I know. Totally, could, he could have jumped me, took in all the cash, and then they'll blame me. It's a fast food joint, of course they'll blame me. <laughs> and then PR, oh god. PR will make it sound like it's not my fault, but nah, they're definitely gonna blame me. And then when I do come back into work, they're gonna put me in a position that nobody likes. <laughs> Investigate the noise from the basement. Oh, Jesus. No, I actually wonder, do fast food, fast food joints have basements? Like McDonald's. It's, ah, 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 ah. Is it because I use your meat to uh, eat you with? Oh God, what the heck? Ejected escape. What just happened? Did I fall in the bucket and the bucket ran me into the wall or something crazy like that? Oh, I just realized you guys can't see the objective. <laughs> that was a true end. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How is that the true end? <laughs> I did not mean to speed run anything whatsoever. <laughs> so your true end is that you fall in the bucket and get yeeted into the wall. Nice. Nice. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Alright, so we're gonna try and get the good ending. Or normal ending, rather. So let's just chill around and actually look and enjoy this area. Seems like they got chicken, chicken, and, well, chicken. <laughs> and they got milkshakes and ice cream. And I guess they got chicken salad. Salad with chicken, I mean. And uh, are those chicken fries? Although, I, I don't know if Burger King actually copyrighted chicken fries. So what would they call it in that case? Chicken sticks. <laughs> Fried chicken fingers. Long fingers. Hmm. Alright, very basic looking. 
But yeah, that's what I was saying. Do fast food joints actually have basements? I feel like they don't. I know they have freezers. I don't think they have basements, right? I don't know. Show us how much I know. Oh! This thing rammed me into the fryer and then I got cooked up. And instead of me enjoying the chicken, the chicken's enjoying me. Damn son, that's deep. That is very deep. I gotta lie though, this is a nice looking restaurant. Very clean. Very simple. I expected worse. Can I escape? I cannot escape. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well I think that's enough lollygag. I will take you guys to the true ending. Good ending. Now I'm taking out the trash. And while I'm taking out the trash, I kinda had a thought. You know, kinda like how we normally do. What the hell? I never even noticed that the first time. <laughs> it's kinda funny, actually. <laughs> what if when it says being quick enough is actually uh, uh, running away from chubby? And quote unquote good ending is actually. Why am I taking this to the trash? <laughs> is actually getting caught by him so we'll see that instead here we are all the money's in the vault pushing this to the kitchen filling the mop bucket and mop the kitchen oh yeah kitchen mopped <laughs> and let's investigate the, the noise hello chubs what you doing project this escape or is this more like a game over False end. False end. Not even good end. Is there a difference? Nope, that was it. Just a true end and a false end. I guess he eats us raw versus eating us fried. <laughs> On to the second one, shall we? Episode 2! Mortified by apparitions. Is this one as short as the first one? I don't know. But just like the first one, this is also a browser-based game. So we will see. And so far, everything looks pretty much the same. A visit to the factory. Go to your offices. Office. Ah, uh, I work at Green Soda Company. <laughs> I wonder what that's like. A soda that's about going green for the environment. Could it be like the bottles and not the actual soda? I would think it's that, right? That makes sense to me. Ah, this is my office. Dot dot dot. That's my my uh, journal progression thing. Mr. Crumsby, my dear friend, it's good to hear your voice. I'm sure you were expecting this call. Yes, Mr. Rumpleton, I was actually. My answer is still the same as it was last year. I assure you. Well, regardless, I'm in town now that my newest factory is up and running, and I like nothing more than to celebrate with my newest neighbor. How about you come on down here and we'll have lunch? Sure, Mr. Rumpleton. That's very kind. I wouldn't mind that at all. I'll be right there. Meet Mr. Rumpleton at the new Scream Soda Factory. Oh, God. Oh, God. Production office. <laughs> Dude. Nice front lobby. <laughs> Especially loving the door. Can I? Oh no, I actually walk there? Damn. Oh god. Oh god, that looks terrifying. Hey! It's Chubby! And he's eating the worker! Oh, that's adorable! Deep fried because it was true and wow! Love the cannon. <laughs> Alright, so we got Marty's mattresses, bank on it, and drink up. Dude, can you actually imagine seeing a bank with this sort of <laughs> sign on it, logo for, for its company? It's like, do you go for it, or because it looks so kiddish that you avoid it? <laughs> like it's gonna go bankrupt any second. Uh, if it was me, I'd, I'd avoid it like hell. They're like, nope, that's that totally screams scam. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to scream. We're walking there. We're rivals. Ugh, I hate you. I spit on your front door before I enter. I'm about the environment. You're about the scream. 
Hey, security, just gonna walk right in. <sighs> Maybe we just know each other. But we're not comfortable with each other, that's why we don't actually say hi or anything like that. Oh god, you're creepy. You're like Santa Claus combined with the, the Colonel from KFC. That's a Rumpleton. Simon, my old pal, it's good to have you. Ima imagine that this is actually very, very deep and we were actually childhood friends. But we went to separate directions because of our goals in life. Oh, oh. I appreciate the invite, Mr. Rumpleton. It's refreshing that you aren't bitter towards me or my father after all this time. Me bitter? Of course not. Business is business. I respect you and your father for keeping the family business a family business. That's good to hear. Yes, but do remember that if your business does start to slow down a bit, an early retirement wouldn't be so bad, eh? Ha! I plan on riding this company into the ground with me if I have to, Mr. Rumpleton. Just like my dad and my grandfather before me. It's more about principles than anything else. I can't see myself doing anything different. <laughs> You're just like your old man. Principles, you say. <laughs> Rerun soda companies, Simon. Light it up a bit. I'm not against your save the world message, but we sell sugary soft drinks, you know? <laughs> You're right. I don't mean to be preachy. You should come down to our factory next time. We just switched from food truck deli from truck deliveries to drones. Good for the environment. No need for employees to drive out to the stores. It's a real novelty to watch our soda fly away. I'll have to take you up on that. That does sound like a sight to see. In any case, I hope you like sushi. You're not vegetarian, are you? Or what's that other one? Uh, uh vegan. I love sushi. Nah, sushi's my favorite. Green soda is green, but not too green for fish and a good steak here and there. <laughs> I really regret choosing that as his voice. Thanks again for the lunch, Mr. Rumpleton. I'd better get back to the factory. Anytime, Simon. And I'm sure Green Soda will be no nationwide soon, thanks to you. Front page headlines, just you wait. Thanks, Mr. Rumpleton. I'll keep in touch. Heading back to my office now. But I have to pass that <laughs> security guard. Whoa! I, I wasn't talking dirty about you at all. I, you're 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 as cool as ever. Yes, I do agree. <laughs> I just like you too. All right. Well, he seems pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop that. He seems pretty cool. I thought that we'd be like he'd be secretly salty, and, uh, and this being a horror game, of course, it means that he's gonna try and get rid of me. Uh, as soon as possible, but it's all right. As long as I actually think that we're friends. Oh my god, we had sushi and you're still eating the dude. Damn man. At least, well, I guess he's just pecking away at it, so he's getting one small peck at a time, eh? One small peck at a time. All right. I'm really curious to see what goes on in our production center. <laughs> How green is it, really? Hey, Sophie. I was just calling to let you know I'm going to be home late tonight. Kate's throwing that going away party for Luke. You're welcome to come too if you want. Otherwise, I'll see you when I get home. Love you. Go to Kate's party. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Will it be at Chubby's? Oh, or I guess they call it something different. Oh, wow. Their lights are still on. I'm not going to go to this company, am I? Alright, that would be weird. Can I take the car? Go to Kate's party is all my thing says. Because I don't think I saw anything down there. Oh, it's a house party. I should probably take my car, right? <laughs> Makes no sense to leave it here. 
Unless I plan to come back to the office. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna... Alright. Unless I'm expecting to sober up during the walk back to the car. I guess that could be a thing. Although I doubt it with how short the distance is. Alright. Hello, Kate. Oh god, you're creepy. <laughs> Simon, you made it! Wouldn't you believe it? You're the first one here, too. Here, this class is for you. Why don't you go have a seat while we wait for the others? I'm almost done with the roast. Thanks, Kate. You know, I could drink this stuff for the rest of my life, but I wouldn't be surprised if poor Luke can't stand the stuff anymore with how long he's been with us. <laughs> this guy has a crazy laugh. Oh god, he's just a floating drink. Nice. Very grown up. Sitting in the sitting in the living room just sipping some soda. Wow, even if Kate did have a little something extra to the green soda, I shouldn't be feeling like this all of a sudden. Something isn't right. Uh, boo. Ugh, my freaking head. I, I don't care if it was Kate's spike soda or what. I'm going home. Sophie must be worried sick about me. Wow, she had a party and just left me there. I like how you don't even think about that being a possible option. And that, who knows, maybe something terrible could be happening. Shouldn't she have left a note or something? Come on. What the? Kate, get off of me! Wait, what the heck? Ah! Ah! Are we fighting? Kate! What's going on? Why are you screaming like that? Get to your car, Parahak, at the factory. What the heck? <laughs> Kate, what's going on? I don't get it. If you wanted to kill me, why didn't you just do it while I was drugged up? So? Mess up. Wow, my car is gone. Go into the office and call the police. Alright. OMG, I just killed a girl with an umbrella that I slept with that I had handy next to me. There's a 13 below me. Take the nature trail back to your house. I got a gun? What? <laughs> what is this progression? Oh god, you're a zombie too? Oh, okay, 13 was my bullets. Oh, look at that, I can actually run inside the grass field. I probably shouldn't do it, though. Sorry, someone was at my door. Anyways, check this out. I can switch! I don't know why I would. But I can switch! Oh, I guess what's I run out of bullets, huh? God, who are these zombies? Was that Luke? What's going on? D -d -d is, that a is that what Scream did? Scream sodas? Are you up to this? Oh my god. Oh my god. They're, they're, they're poisoning my people, turning them into zombies. Well, I just realized I could probably just outrun you, huh? Probably be a bad idea. Once, uh, I guess, Luke? Oh god, oh god, there's two of you. What the heck? I guess I'll just run. <laughs> We're gonna have ourselves an army, maybe. An army of zombies. A zombie of... What's this? Oh. Head back to the trail gate and cut the chains with the boat cutters. Trail gate? What? 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 What trail gate? I didn't see any trail gate. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> These things are so annoying. <laughs> uh, oh, did I see a thing? Oh god, I'm getting yo 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 What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's endless. I know that it cuts off, so we'll find- yep. Oh, ha! Oh. Ha-ha! Get to my- <laughs> You're kind of singing in a way. <laughs> Sophie! I hope you don't mind. <laughs> We're gonna have ourselves a party tonight. Oh gosh. <laughs> This is so weird. 
One way ticket, eh? Oh god. This is my house. No. I might actually die now. I don't know where my house is. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Right, I should probably try clearing some off, huh? Okay. Cause I don't know where my- Holy Christ! Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. So one of these is my home. Wait, wouldn't that be my home? Oh no, it stopped me from going any forward. So I guess I'm just gonna- Oh, I found it! <laughs> nice! My wife? My wife? No! True. <laughs> Local soda CEO massacre. It's a scream soda acquires green soda. Sunday morning around 8 a.m., Simon Crimsby, the local owner of Green Soda Incorporated, attacked his close friend, Kate Perno, with an umbrella after sleeping through a party thrown at her house for one of his employees. After fleeing and leaving her dazed, he proceeded to collect a firearm and bizarrely a flashlight before entering the local nature trail and shooting several trailgoers. Upon reaching his house, neighbors report that he had collapsed on the porch where he was found dead of a heart attack. Fair Early reports believe he suffered some kind of mental break. However, the investigation is still ongoing. So I guess the soda that... Or maybe the sushi. Maybe it starts all the way back from the sushi. It somehow intoxicated me. And, well... I went crazy. The names of the trail goers have not yet been released in order to inform their next of kin. Yesterday, Sunday, September 1st, Green Soda CEO David Rumpelton acquired the local business Green Soda Incorporated following the tragedy of in which Simon Crumsby is believed to have murdered three joggers and bicyclists in the early morning last week, Sunday, August 25th, before collapsing and suffering a heart attack. Suffering. <laughs> you, you act like you have mercy over this man. Sympathy, I mean. Mr. Rumpelton had this to say of the incident. It's a real shame what happened to him. I've been friends with his family for a generation. He was a good friend. And from my last meeting with him that morning, it seemed he was under quite a bit of stress. I wish I did more for him. My condolences are with the victim's families. Simon's wife, Sophie Crosby, did not wish to be interviewed about her, her, her sale of the company or the incident involving her husband. The Marklin Times would like to extend her our full support in having all known Simon to be a good man. It is this reporter's opinion that he be remembered for the good that he did for the community and the compassion he had for others. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check out the false ending, which I'm assuming is if I were to get killed. I don't know at which part, but I'm assuming at some point I'll get killed. Maybe by Kate. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's cool. It saves here. See what happens if you kill me. Oh, I was about to say. Ooh, what if I get an army and just let them kill me instead? Wouldn't that be more epic? I think that would be more epic. Oh my god, just look at them all. <laughs> I have chosen this to be my final resting place. Kill me. Wait, where's it? Where, where, what? Army? Alright, kill me. I want to die seeing my company. <laughs> oh, wait, what? It's not the true end? I mean, the good end? You just restart back here? No way. Wow, how is it that the good end is harder to get than the true end? <laughs> So I read a hint from their Itch.io page, and they said the good ending is as good as using only your first item or none at all. So my assumption is maybe if I just don't kill anyone. Oh wow, look at that! Sophie, thank god. Look how soda CEO poison! <gasps> Sunday morning, August 25th, around 8 a.m., Simon Crosby, the local owner of Green Soda Incorporated, attacked his close friend, Kate Perna, with an umbrella. 
after sleeping through a party thrown at her house for one of her, his employees. After fleeing and leaving her days, he proceeded to arm himself and walk through the nature trail to his home, ignoring his car parked nearby, passing several concerned joggers and bicyclists along the way who phoned the police. Mr. Crunsby then passed out in front of his wife. His actions, however, have since been explained as a possible attempt at poisoning. After hearing Mr. Crumsby's description of the event, he was tested for hallucinogens, eventually testing positive for a very rare toxic plant found in the Amazon. Police are investigating criminal involvement. So... the sushi? <laughs> what did he do? Rub it into the wasabi? Or <laughs> pushed it into my soy sauce when I wasn't looking? Sunday morning, September 1st, Scream Soda Incorporated CEO David Rumpleton was arrested and charged with attempted murder after it has surfaced that he was the leader in a conspir conspiratorial plot to fatally poison local business owner Simon Crumsby last week. Following the charges levied against him, Kate Pernell has taken a plea bargain and revealed the entire plan to authorities in exchange for a lighter sentence. Ah, so she was part of it. After hearing of the incident, a key witness, Dr. J. Chandelier, has come forward to admit selling the hallucinogen to Rumpleton under the pretense that Rumpleton was using it for recreational purposes. Rumpleton's security guard, Andreas Leatherhoff, is awaiting sentence. Same. Wait, why is the security guard getting arrested too? <laughs> Just because he's creepy, man. <laughs> That's all. Alright, kinda neat. Overall, um, I, I, I enjoyed it for what it is, being how short it is. I do like the second one more than the first one. The first one was, in my opinion, a bit too short to really feel involved in any of its story or atmosphere. This one was a little bit better, uh, also a little bit cheesy altogether. <laughs> but in a way, I feel like it, it kind of aims at that, and that's why it does well there. So yeah, neat. Anyways, on to the third game. There are ghosts and these stars. Not gonna lie, part of the most terrifying of all terrifying things could happen is in the bathroom. On the stall. I would absolutely hate it. Can you just imagine yourself? I don't know. I guess you went to Pope. And then there's a murderer or a ghost something on the other side of the stall. Dude, I would freak the heck out. Hold right mouse button. Oh, alright. Um. Okay. That was weird. Alright, now I got a bad angle. Ah! Ah! Why am I looking at the floor? What? <laughs> the controls aren't that intuitive, huh? Oh, oh. Is there something there? Eh. 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 Oh god, this is hardcore. Eh, 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 eh. Jesus, man. What's that? Ah, uh, trash? Ah. 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 Okay, why can't I see under this one? Maybe I just gotta angle it real good? Oh, I could kind of see it. Alright. There I go. Do you see any ghosts underneath there? Oh, thank god. I would absolutely hate it. Ah. Eh. Eh, this is just like real life, man. Trying to peek under stalls. Not that I've ever done it before. Oh, but I can only imagine it. it's a struggle. Oh, what the? Oh, I thought that was words. Is there someone there? Something gonna happen underneath these stalls? I don't see anything. What am I doing? I'm just trying to poop. Why do I feel the suspicion that something terrifying is happening? <laughs> I don't suppose that's the way to do things, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh. Alright. Yeah. There's nothing going on. What am I afraid of? Eh. Absolutely nothing. Can I move? I can't move. I'm just pooping. God, I'm enjoying myself, aren't I? What the? I heard noise. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Is this like a 
Uh, a simulation horror. I think it's a simulation horror. Oh, what's it like to be, to be, to poop? Oh no. Oh god, he's struggling. He's struggling real hard. Eh. 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 I don't need this keyboard. Eh. Alright. There's nothing here, man. I'm just pooping. Just pooping. Just pooping. Oh, I was supposed to examine these things. Oh. Oh, uh, where am I going to find the others? I didn't even see a single one out there. Oh, I see it. Come on. Come on. Get it. Uh, what? That I saw a shadow. Examine it. Examine it. Okay. There I go. Ooh, that awkward moment when you're also peeking when another person's peeking. Oh, uh, that awkward moment when that dude's having a hard time. Eh. One more to go. Oh, jeez. That's creepy. <gasps> Something out there. Oh, 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 there's an X. Why is there an X? Oh, 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 I got goose nips. Oh, it dragged me up. Oh, God. That was cool. Two minute horror jam. Very, very cool. Similar to the episode one. Woo. I mean, I kind of expected a jump scare, but I think it did a good job creating the atmosphere here. It was, it was pretty neat, though, I gotta say. Horror games and toilets, man. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, hope you enjoyed these three short horror games. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as let me know what you think was your favorite. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Until then, later.